because you haven't dealt with something from your past, so you have some kind of knowledge, some kind of experience that's impacting you in the present that you need to bring out from your subconscious to reconcile. And the ice and the water and the liquid, uh, sorry, the gas and the water and the liquid are all H2O, agreed? Yeah. Right, so you do get the concept. Put pause on the script, engage the brain. Stop thinking of the script, start thinking about what I'm saying to you. I want these exact words. Allah says, to become a Muslim, you have to say, there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his prophet. I want to see those exact words. I know you come from a Christian family, Yeah. right? You got hoodwinked by Muslims. You really did. We're going to now run through the Dawah script. Yeah, we're going to run through the Dawah script. Thank you. So, let, let, let's have a look. You're saying, what, what's the question again? Jesus, in the Bible says that he does not know the, the last hour, end of times. Yeah, okay, so let me explain this to you. Yeah. He clearly says, Jesus, the Father, and the Holy Spirit are co equal, co equal, co eternal. They can't be co equal if the Father knows and the Son does not. You know what your problem is, bro? Is that you've, you, you, you've learned a script that you're repeating to me now, but you haven't studied with a Christian. So let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. Yeah? Because you're making an argument that is a use of the incarnation to criticize the idea of the Trinity. Do you know what the incarnation is? I haven't studied Christianity. Right. There you go. One second, brother. You've just said you haven't studied Christianity. And yet, he knows enough to try and make an argument from the Bible. He hasn't studied the Bible, but he knows an argument from the Bible to attack Christianity. So that means, that means, bro, what you're doing is you're repeating what other people have told you. Now is your opportunity to be a real student of truth, okay? And to learn what Christians actually believe. So I'm gonna show you what we believe, yeah? I'm going to show you what we believe. The verse that you quoted where Jesus said, no one knoweth the hour, nor the Son, nor the angels, but the Father only. Yeah, that's the verse you're quoting. Okay. However, we Christians believe in the idea of the Incarnation. Do you know what the Incarnation is? I'm not sure of it, no. Okay. He says he's not sure, but I'm sure when I tell him, he'll suddenly have some knowledge about it. So Christians believe that God becomes a man. That's what we believe. And he takes on to himself a full human nature. This doesn't change his divine nature. This doesn't alter his divine nature. We Christians are very clear about that. The human nature and the divine nature are not commingled, they are not changed, they are not separated for a moment, they don't affect one another. No, I'm explaining to you the answer to your question. So you just you just have to you just have to wait the script. Put pause on the script. Engage the brain. Stop thinking of the script. Start thinking about what I'm saying to you. Right? As a Christian, we believe that God has taken on to himself a nature that does not change his divinity. That human nature is evidenced in scripture. Jesus Christ learns. He learns. He doesn't have all knowledge available to him. That doesn't mean that all knowledge isn't there. Let me explain what I mean by that. Now, I know that you're not an educated man of the Christian faith because you've told me that you're not. Are you, are you an educated man in terms of human psychology? I studied psychology for A-level. Great, great. So as a man who studied psychology, no, you'll, study it now. Like, you're I studying it now. Know. Tell us the difference between the conscious and the subconscious. The subconscious is like an element which you do not know. Like, for example, your heart beating is an unconscious thing. The conscious part of you is something that I can do, like touch you, any sort of thing like that. Right. There is knowledge in the subconscious. You're aware of that? Knowledge? Yes, there's knowledge in the subconscious. You mean there's no knowledge in the heart? What do you expect? No, no, no. The, you're, you're, if you're, you're, right. Here, here's, the, the guy's either just started his psychology course or he's just busted himself on a lie because he's trying to equate the subconscious to the heart. No, I'm not saying the heart. I'm saying every, like, organs work without you thinking. No, that's the, that's, the lower, that's the lower brain. That's the that's part the of the brain. No, 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 no. Hold that's on. Occipital row. That's how you see no, it. No, no, it isn't. Is. Yes, it is. Jung contradicts you. Freud contradicts you. Every psychologist will contradict you. You're confusing. You're confusing the lower brain with the higher brain. The subconscious exists in the higher brain. The lower brain, the nerve stem, the bit that sits at this part of the back of your head, is the bit that controls your motor neuron functions. That's the bit that controls your heart, your lungs. That's why you can have people born without a rest of a brain, but they have this lower part of the brain 
and to a medical examination they're alive. Their heart is beating, their lungs are breathing, they move, but you can't talk to them, they can't reason with you, they're not conscious. You're, you're aware of people being brought, born without brains, right? Because you're a psychology student. Now, the subconscious, as Freud tells us, and as Jung tells us, is that part of the mind that impacts the conscious you that you're not conscious of. Freud called it the id, the ego and the super ego. Oh, so you do know, right. So the thing is, Freud says that these things can impact your behavior now because you haven't dealt with something from your past. So you have some kind of knowledge, some kind of experience that's impacting you in the present that you need to bring out from your subconscious to reconcile. I'm helping you on your A-level degree, uh, on your A-level studies now, right? That's Freud, okay? Jung has different ideas, okay? But the point is, every psychologist would talk about the subconscious and the conscious. So you right now have knowledge that is not in your conscious mind, it's in your subconscious mind. Do you agree? Right, brilliant. So when Jesus said, that I do not know the day or the hour, it isn't saying that that knowledge isn't there. Because that knowledge is there because he is God. It is saying that he does not have access to that knowledge because it sits in his subconscious because he is a human being. So Jesus, when he says, I do not know the day or the hour, is telling the truth. He doesn't know the day or the hour. It is not accessible to him because of his human nature. He is a human being. But that doesn't mean that it isn't there in his person. In the same way that everyone around me has knowledge of which they are conscious and knowledge of which sits in their unconscious. And that is not a controversial statement. Every psychologist would agree with me. Are you saying, sorry, I just want to ask, are you saying Jesus knew the hour or not? So what I'm saying is, the knowledge is present, but he's not cognitive of it. But that's your opinion, though. No, that is an answer to the question about how Jesus can be God and then say that he does not know the day or the hour. No, but I'm saying, which is your opinion, right? Okay, can we agree on that? Because it doesn't say... True. Bible, right? It is my opinion. Yeah, right. It is my true opinion. Yeah. However, the thing is, when, we, when it comes to discussion and debate, the argument is that because Jesus says, I do not know the day or the hour, that this contradicts the idea that he is God. That's the argument. But what if I can reconcile that contradiction in a rational way, then that means the argument that you made is not valid. If I can provide a way in which the re contradiction is reconciled, it's not a contradiction. Because a contradiction is a contradiction and there is no reconciliation. I don't, think, I don't think there's reconciliation because he said he doesn't know. Only God knows. Exactly. Which, and what I, which makes exactly. a clear distinction between him and God. God. That, the Bible states clearly. Let, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Bear with me one second. This is why I get sucked in, bruv. He's going to call Right. So the thing is, the thing is, bro. Yes. If you don't believe me, go and fact check me. Right? Go and fact check me. There is a thing called the subconscious mind. I'm a yeah. Freud, I love Freud. I, 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 I don't really like Freud because he was a bit kinky, but, like, but he was a bit kinky. And he had an obsession with people wanting to have sex with their parents. The Oedipus got yeah, the Oedipus complex. But, but, but Freud, Freud got a lot of things wrong. He also got a lot of things right. One of the things that he discovered that now lots of Western psychology is based on is that you're impacted by your subconscious mind. Yeah, we call it trauma. Yeah, it's trauma. Right? Your subconscious mind impacts you in the present. Yeah? People who are nervous and jittery probably had something happen in their childhood that affects them today. Right? As one example. There are experiences, and experiences is equivalent to knowledge, that impact us. They are stored in our mind, in the subconscious, but we're not conscious of them. The way we deal with them is we reconcile with our past. So we bring them out of our subconscious mind into our conscious mind and we deal with them. Now, why am I going on about this? I'm going on about this to point out that it is perfectly human, perfectly human to have knowledge in the subconscious mind that you are not cognitive of. Now, coming back to the question at hand, Jesus not knowing the day or the hour. 
We Christians say that Jesus is a full human being, fully human, which yeah, means that, that. Yeah. right? Which means that he is subject to all the things that we are. Going to the loo, needing to eat, needing to pray to the Father, needing to worship God. All that, all that human beings must do, Jesus must do as well. Which also means that what is true of us is true of Jesus. And therefore, when we have knowledge in our subconscious mind, we can say Jesus has knowledge in his subconscious mind. And so I am relegating knowledge of the day or the hour to the subconscious mind, can, reconciling the contradiction. Everything you just said there, we agree with. We believe Jesus was, was, a, yeah. was a human in everything. Yes. But there's a clear distinction between us and the Creator. Jesus was a creation, and there's a Creator that created him, that created all of us. Yep. So where do you then, I'm curious to know, where do you then make the link that Jesus is God? Right. So where, where do you get that from? We get it from Jesus' own teachings. Jesus himself says that he is God and that you should worship him. He said, yeah, he says that. Me. Yes, I'll say it. I will show you that verse, but I just want to establish that what I'm saying is biblical about Jesus growing in knowledge. Yep. Yeah? It says in the scripture, when they had performed everything according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own city of Nazareth. The child, that being Jesus, the child continued to grow and become strong, increasing in wisdom. So well, Jesus grew natural, in knowledge. Grew in exactly. Yeah, okay. Now, would you agree with me that God is the one that permits you to know something and not know something? 100%, yeah. Right. So since God is the one that is in charge of his own incarnation, he is the one that sets the boundaries for his own human knowledge. He's the one that puts out the fence. Now, let me just show you something. Why does Jesus come to reveal some things and not others? Because that's what it says in the scriptures. Listen carefully. Uh, bear with me one second. Do, 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 do. Right, so after Christ rose from the dead, he meets with his apostles and his apostles ask this. So when they had come together, they were asking him saying, Lord, being Jesus, is it at this time you are restoring the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know the times or the epochs which the father has fixed by his own authority but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit come upon you and you shall be my witnesses to both Jerusalem, in Judea and Samaria, and even to the remotest parts of the earth. So Jesus is establishing that he did not come to reveal everything. But I, I, think, I think you've lost what we said. You said Jesus said he is God, God is worship God. me. I've, I've never in my life come across that in the Bible. I even think we don't take the Bible no, back, no, I've never even seen yeah. that. Brother, so brother, one second. That, I'll, 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 yeah. I'll learn something right, new. brother, you are going to learn something new, but I just want to point out that it's you that lost what we were saying because you jumped into a conversation about the incarnation and about a question connected to Christ's knowledge and that was the why I was quoting two verses from yeah, scripture to establish that and this is what I'm saying you're not paying attention so I hope you pay attention next this, I, can I just say so I am paying attention because we established that that was his opinion didn't it? Was yes his opinion yes so now we moved on to yes. how is Jesus God and you said Jesus, Jesus taught said, it no, yes no, you said he said yes Bible, I am God worship me I'm right brilliant I've never seen that. I'm gonna show you are you paying attention? I'm paying, I'm, I'm here, I'm paying attention. Great, great. I'm, are you paying attention? Good, good. Right. Uh, in, according to the Bible, who is the Father? God. God? Yeah. And God is equivalent to who in your religion? Allah. Allah. Yeah. Brilliant. We all established that the Father is equal to God, and the God is equal to Allah. Logical so far? God of Abraham, God of Moses. Yeah. Brilliant, exactly. Now listen to this. This is Jesus speaking. These are his own words. For not even the Father judges anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son. According to the Bible, who's the Son? Jesus. So that all will honor the Son even as they honor the Father. Now listen, let's put Allah in there because we all agreed that the Father is equivalent to God and God is equivalent to Allah. So let's listen again, but now I'm just going to put Allah where Father is. Listen. Listen! Listen! For not even the Father judges anyone. No, he's not listening. No, I'm, I'm going to wait until he's finished. Are you listening? Are you listening? So we all agreed. This is why I have to shout, because people can't control themselves when they're rattled. Right? Are you listening? 
Are you listening, Walla? Yeah. Walla or Wally? Let's listen, mate. Let's listen, bro. Listen, listen, listen. Listen. For not even Allah judges anyone, but he has given all judgment, and I'm going to put Jesus in the place of the Son, because we all agreed that that was Jesus. So, for not even Allah judges anyone, but he has given all judgment to Jesus, so that all will honor Jesus, even as they honor Allah. Okay, he said it. Yeah, are you done? Are we agreed that Jesus just no. said, worship me? I, I, hear, I, I yes. agree with what you said, yeah? Sorry, that does not say Jesus is God worshipped. Right, one second. You said no, no. Yeah, no, I'm no, gonna. No. I'm, yeah, that, that verse, even though we don't agree, we don't yeah, agree. You want to say, you know, God? Yeah. It's all right. I'm gonna. Okay, it's all right. Okay, we, we don't agree that God would give judgment to to a creation, but you said yourself, God gave judgment to someone. Thank you. Gave judgment. Right. So, so that doesn't let, mean wow. he doesn't give listen, it to himself. Listen, God listen, so, listen, God. listen. Can we agree then? Then there's a separate, separate thing. No, we can't agree. I'm gonna explain why. Honestly, guys, guys, wait, wait, one second. One second. Let me, let me explain. Let, one second. Let me, one second. I am going to prove it to you now. I'm going to prove it to you now. Because do you honestly think, guys, that I've not heard everything that you've got to say before? I have heard. Listen, brother. You, you, no, you, you said something. Now I'm going to reply. No, brother, brother. Finish your point. Go on. So you said you can prove to me, it says in the Bible yeah. that Jesus is God. You said this already. Me. You've already said you this. You still haven't shown me that. Right, you've, you've said this. You've just, yeah, you've just no, repeated your point. You've just repeated your point. Can I reply now? Okay, yeah, let, I'll let him reply. Can I reply? Because you literally, you've literally just repeated yourself. You literally just repeated yourself twice. So brother, I have, brother, I have listened to your point twice. Now allow me to reply. Okay. Okay, right. So guys, just, just be clear, right? I've heard your script before. Everything that you say, every Muslim said before you. Muslims aren't saying anything new because they're not studying, they're just repeating. Let me ask you this very simple question and I just want you to answer honestly. Jesus said to honor him like you honor Allah. Would you do that? And if you wouldn't, why not? We can't honor Jesus like we do Allah because why? Allah is the creator and Jesus is the creation. Listen what, to what he, the brother just said. We cannot honor Jesus because Jesus is not the creator. So who's the creator? So if we can't honor Jesus because he is not the creator. One second, I didn't interrupt you. Did I interrupt you? 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 I asked him a very simple question. I said, why won't you honor Jesus yeah. like you honor yeah, yeah. Allah? Yeah, yeah. And then he said, we can't honor Jesus like we honor Allah because Allah is the creator. And who's the creator, I asked him. And then he said, God. So if Jesus says, honor me like you honor Allah, who is Jesus? God. Bingo. No, there you go. Perfect. That's the problem. That's the problem. That's the problem. That's it, guys. There you go. Let him respond to it. Go on. Disprove this. Disprove this. Listen. Now, one second. You just got... Brother, brother, brother. 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 Okay. Hey, brother, this guy wants to quote something. Um, is that from Philippians 2 and uh, verses verse 5 till 12? What, look, I'm just going to quote and you, your judgment is yours. <laughs> Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God. A did, equality did with God. God. A thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men and being found in human form, be humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Uh, that's fine, Rob. After so he, the, the scriptures have just uh, yeah. said that Jesus is equal with God. Yeah. Okay. And G, now, now, brother, I want you to deal with what I say. I don't want you just to repeat part of your I script. Still no, I still haven't. I still haven't finished what I had to say, innit? No, 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 you did. You repeated yourself twice. I listened to your point twice. I still haven't. Listen. So the point that... So we're moving on now, yeah? No, no, no. No, the point, the point, bro. The point, bro. By your own words. 
you said that you can't do what Jesus told you to do because Jesus isn't God. Yeah. But if Jesus told you to do something that you can't do because Jesus isn't God in your eyes, then that means Jesus is saying that he is God. Listen, okay, so what you what you said... You get me? Jesus said... Christian. No, Jesus yeah, yeah. asked. He Jesus gets me. Asked, listen. Don't be deceived by these guys, yeah? I see you hanging out with them, but don't let them he's deceive my, your he's heart. He's my brother, bro. you know? He's yeah. actually my brother. He's Christian, I'm Muslim. But listen, you I said... I feel sorry for you, bro. Huh? I feel sorry, I feel sorry for, you. for you, man, but that's, that's my opinion. Do you get me? in Revelations 1 verse 8, he says he's God. And he still yeah. haven't answered my yeah. question. Right. 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 But anyway... So, so deal with what I said about this verse. I can't move on because... we can No one's moving. We're sticking with this verse. I want you to address what I said. So you said... Jesus asked us to honor him like he did the Father. We, no. we don't believe he would have said anything. That's what he says here. But if he says that, that's like me asking you to honor me as, as, as God. There you that go. I mean, I'm good. There you go. I mean, I'm good, didn't it? Right, listen. I'm, I'm, I'm good. That, Thank you. So let, let, me, let, let me address that point. Just to settle in. Just to settle okay, in. settle in, settle yeah. in, settle in. So Jesus Your mind has been warped, bro. Those Muslims that. have played a number on you. Yeah. Played a number on I'm you, bro. I'm you don't interrupt, man. But anyway, so. Jesus is asking us, yeah, so Jesus, another entity is asking us to honour him as God. That does not mean he's God. I still, and so that does not mean he's God, number one. And number two, you still haven't shown me where Jesus in the Bible says, I am God, worship me. So I don't, think that, I don't think that exists in the Bible, yeah, done? right? No, no, so that, that's not I in want the Bible. you to land because I'm going to reply. And he says the Father okay. gave him that. Right? I've said what I need to say. I right, like so allow me to reply. Really listening, allow me to reply. Answer. Anyone who's really listening God, yeah. will hear the brother. That he said very clearly, yeah. Yeah. I can't accept this because Jesus just asked me to honor him like he was God. Yeah. But that doesn't prove that he was God. Yeah, it doesn't. Right, but hold on one second. That gives us three options. Right. We either accept that Jesus is God because he said honor him like God. One. That's one option. Two, we say that Jesus is a liar, that he's lying when he says, honor me as God, because he isn't God. Or we say Jesus is a madman because he is a human being. I was going to get to that, bro. Shut up a second. Shut up a second. There are two types of people, in, there are three types of people in this world, bro. Those that can count and those that can't. So as I was saying, that was a joke, by the way. He didn't, he didn't he pick on it. He didn't pick on it. So, so the point is, bro, the point is, yeah, we've got our options. Jesus really is God because he said, honor me as God, which means that I have shown you where Jesus said, I am God, worship me. Two, Jesus is a liar because he says worship him as God, but he isn't. He's a madman because he says worship him as God, but he isn't. Or this is about the Bible itself yeah. is a lie because the Bible says Jesus said worship me as God, but he isn't. So those are your four options. The Bible says that Jesus is God, worship him, but you can't trust it. Jesus is a liar because he says worship him as God and he's lying. Jesus is a madman because he says worship him as a God, but he isn't. Or Jesus is telling the truth and he is God and he says worship me but what we can't say what we can't say is that Jesus didn't say worship me as God that's what we can't say yeah of course you can it still doesn't mean Jesus said, that's still not even one of the options wait which are my four options uh, the first one when you said it means Jesus is God and we now which one of my four options do you believe huh? we'll, we'll get to that no we'll get to that but even one of your one of your four options is incorrect go on which one Jesus said you know, uh, worship me like the Father. That doesn't make him God. Maybe he wants to be Allah, we, we know he doesn't, but maybe it's, he wants that type of recognition. He wants that honor, but that still does not make him saying he's God. So that's me. option two or three. That's number one. Remember? No, no, you don't. You weren't listening, were you? No, you said the first. Let, let me just let me just say it again. Option one yeah. is that Jesus says, yeah. "Worship me as a God," because he's telling the truth. That's option two is that Jesus says, "Worship me as a God." but he's lying. Option three, Jesus says, worship me as God, but he's mad. Option four, the Bible isn't trustworthy. It's not recording what Jesus is saying. Yeah. Which of those do you believe? I believe, okay, what, so, so we're moving on now, yeah? I'm just, no, no, still no, we're still talking about, I mean, about we, this verse. Yeah, but we can, all right, so we're moving on to which of these options we believe. Yes, because we're talking, know, they're you relevant. You know which option I believe. Of course I do, because okay, I've then. heard your script before. All You've right, been then. brainwashed. All right, then, nah, this is You have, you've been but tricked, bro. You've been tricked. Trying, Muslims yeah, lied to you about your own religion, and your church didn't teach you how to defend it. They taught me, they taught me, but obviously the truth, like the brother was saying, truth always conquer falsehood. 
You it does, not just me, as it will in this conversation. You still have not shown me that Jesus directly said, I am God, worship me. Do, what does he say here? This, honor me. this says, honor me like you. God. Right, and you why won't you do like that? God. Why won't you do that? No, you know why I wouldn't do why, that. Why? Saying, just say it again. I'm, I'm why won't you do that? I'm speaking the scripture saying, honor me like God. Which yeah, exactly. is not God, but exactly. he wants to be honored like God. Exactly. That would be shirk. Sorry? That would be shirk. That would be shirk. Exactly. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Right. Shirk. Yeah, what I'm, is shirk? I'm, I'm oh, you said it. No, no, but you know anyway. Shirk. You still said what it is. A because shirk, shirk is it? a great putting someone on the same level as Yeah, and then we've established So why would a prophet say that? That's his whole point. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We don't believe you would say that. But the point is, you asked me to show me in the Bible where Jesus said, I'm God God. Exactly, and that's what I've done. That's, honor, that's, that's what I've done. Right, what does honor mean? Right. One second, because I've done this before, I've heard your script before. You're saying, he's saying, sorry bro, he's jumped in and he said honor. He said honor, not worship. That's what he said. Regardless, right? we still can't honor Jesus. No, one second. One second, let me just, let me just, because is English your first language? Right, brilliant. Is English your first language? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. What does the word worship mean? When you worship someone, pray, pray to them. No. no. So if I worship, worship, them, worship comes from the Middle English, Anglo-Saxon. It means to give due honour. So you give the level of honour that is due to something. That is what worship means. Mm -hmm. okay. So if I shake your hand and say, how are you, sir? I'm giving you a level of honour. So that's worship. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah? But the worship that oh, that's I... That's worship. Shit. Within the English language, that's what it means, yeah. Okay, in English but, language. But yeah, the, the honour that we give to God... Because this is where Muslims and Christians are in complete agreement. The honor that we give to God, we can't give to anyone else. Yes. We can only give it to God. Yeah. So if we give the honor that is due to God, to Jesus, yeah. it's because Jesus is God. So the difference part? between me and you, bro, is this. I read these words, I take them at face value, and I believe them. Yeah. You read these words, you don't want to believe them, and so you say that these words can't be trusted. That. There's historical evidence and stuff like that. Go on. Yeah, what 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 historical evidence? I don't know. I love history. Much. I'll be honest. I don't know too much about it, but uh, oh, hold on a minute. Yeah. You've just I'm said. Not, yeah. Hold on. You've just said there's historical reasons why yes. I don't agree with you. Yeah. But you can't give any of those reasons. Because now you want me to quote exactly. So I, I tell don't you, want to make a mistake. No, I don't want to make a mistake. So I tell you what honest. you've just admitted to. Right, I got to say. Unconscious knowledge. <laughs> That's what you've just admitted to. Okay, fine. Do you believe that the Bible is true? Awesome. Right, anyway, no, I, I really have. Somewhere, but I, I really I have. I feel you don't. Anyway. Brother, I, you brother that, I know you yeah. come from a Christian family. Yeah. 100%. Right? You got hoodwinked by Muslims. You really did. <laughs> they they hoodwinked you. Yeah. They hoodwinked you. I got brainwashed. I to, to your point. Yeah, the problem of your question is where did Jesus say this? In the Bible, Jesus never, never says, I am a prophet either. So by your logic, you would have to discount Jesus. Really you know what it is, bro? You know what it is? I never said, where did he say? He said, I can show you where Jesus said, I am God. And I was like, show me. I hope your church is doing better. That's no, all I'm no, saying. He hasn't I, I showed me. He's, he's on the link. I, 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 I really can't explain. He, 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 he says, I am God, God. worship him. But he yeah. I'm not trying to pick it, 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 up. I'm just saying like, yeah, he says it on many if occasions. Says that, yeah. if they Revelations say that 1. Mean yeah. that then, like, to be something, you don't have to explicitly say it in There's that manner. No, nah, but he said he says it. He said he said it. Shall I show you another place where Jesus says, I am God? Very quickly before you go, because I know you're leaving. Right? Who is the Alpha? Who is the first and the last according to the Quran? Allah, yeah. Allah, right? According to the Quran, yeah. Allah is the first and the last. Yeah. Right, Revelations, yeah, Revelations, chapter 22, Jesus speaking. Behold, I am coming quickly, my reward is with me to render to every man according to what he has done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. I, Jesus, have sent my angels. So, so Jesus has just said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first, and the last. Answer again. Who is the first and the last according to the Bible? Is the first and the last. Who is the first and the last according to the Bible? Uh, Jesus, who, is the, who is the first and the last according to the Bible? Uh, what, in, what, what you just said there? Who is the first and the last according to the Bible? No, I'm asking you what according to what you Let's just said Let's do it again. Let's yes, do this again. Bible, yes. 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 Do you know what I'm trying to say? Let's do this I again. Don't, I can't uh, behold, are, are you reading? Yes, yes, I'm listening, I'm listening. Behold, I am coming quickly and my reward is with me that? to render to every man according to what he has done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Where's Blessed Jesus? are those who wash their robes so that they might, so that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter into the gates of the city. Outside are dogs and sorcerers and the immoral persons and the murderers and the idolaters and everyone who loves and practices lying. I, Jesus, have sent my angels to testify to you. So who's speaking? I don't know. 
He but doesn't know. Yeah, well, you're you, dishonest. You, no, you're insincere so and dishonest. you say it's Jesus, oh, right? right? No, what does you, the text no, say? What does the text say, bro? The what does the text say? Not me, not you. What does the Bible say? Let's read it again. I can hear what it's saying. I'm not So who's speaking? Did it say because it's who's saying, speaking right here? Behold, I am. But that's okay, other. That's other. That's 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 Jesus. You yes. But anyway, so who's saying. speaking here when he says I am so, coming? This is what I'm saying. I don't Jesus. Know. Okay. No, if he says Jesus, identify another saying. speaker in the okay, passage. Fine. No. I'm, yeah. You see, because here's the thing, bro. Oh You're so determined to win an argument, you can't I'm even be to, honest to yourself. I'm trying to leave. I'm not trying to win. No, but bro, but you're, anyway, you're so. Look, bro, as it says in the Quran. You're so. Yeah. You're, as it brother, says in the Quran. You're so determined to win an argument, you can't even not, be honest to the I'm text. Not, I challenge you. I challenge you to identify look, the other speaker. Look, Who's speaking? I'll, I'll prove to you that I'm not trying to win an argument. Yeah. In the Quran, it says, "Lakum din wa kum din." To you is your way, and to me is my way. Yeah, but re Muslims it, never man. follow that. No, but Muslims I'm never, never follow that. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Muslims go never follow something that. else in it, but yeah. it's been a pleasure, my brother. It's been a pleasure. Right. It's a pleasure. Uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, we yeah. Christians, yeah. I, I feel sorry for you that your church let you down. My church. Your church let you down. Wait, how am I? Sorry, church man, I feel sorry that your church let you down, God? and that and that Muslims uh, and that Muslims uh, hoodwinked you, bro. Uh, Jesus clearly could have called himself Allah. No, in the Bible, I just showed it to you. He's yeah, born, right? Is Jesus born? Or how can he be the first or last? Right, great question. Another honest question. Uh, no, 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 no. Another, another honest question. And I, I like you because you've asked a lot of honest questions, right? I mean, you have to get rid of the script in your head, but you are asking honest questions. So how can Jesus be the first and the last if he's born? So this comes back to the doctrine of the incarnation, okay? So this is the thing that Muslims never learn about is what Christians believe about the Incarnation, and I really encourage you to learn about it. I'll research it when I was... Okay, that's absolutely fine. But so let I'm me... Not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not sure this entire stuff, because obviously I haven't studied the Bible yep. or anything. So like let that. me just explain it to you. Okay, right? So this passage is talking about Jesus Christ. Listen to what it says. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Who's God? The Father. So and the word Jesus. is Jesus. The word is Jesus. But you just said the Bible. Are you listening? Yeah, I'm saying. Listen. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and apart from him, nothing came into being that has come into being. In him has in him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not comprehend it. Now down here, we're still talking about the word. The word that is God. Yeah? Okay? Doesn't matter if it doesn't make sense to you. The fact is, the word has been identified as God. Though, is it Jesus the Father or is there is it God? Is it well, this is, this is one of the, the, the scripts that we would use to demonstrate the Trinity. All right, but who's yeah. God though? Who is God? G the word is God yeah, but and the Father is, is God. Both. What do you mean both? So it's not three, it's not the Holy Spirit. Yeah, the Holy Spirit, but so we get that. Said both. Now, brother. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know the script. Right. I know the script. I'm just asking. Right? I know your script. God, I know the script. God. I know no. your script. Bro, I don't have a script. You are working to a no, script. No, no, I haven't even reason right. I'm saying. So, bro, I know your script. I'm not, I'm not working so, let me just explain how we Christians come to the doctrine of the Trinity. Because, bearing in mind, you asked a question about the incarnation. And now you want to move to the Trinity yeah, I'm, I'm before I finish the answer to the incarnation. incarnation first, then we no, we're going, I'm going to deal with the Trinity question and now I'm going to come back to the incarnation. Christians get their doctrine of God from the first page here and the last page there. We don't construct our view of God based on one verse. We use the whole of the Bible and when we read the whole of the Bible, the Bible teaches there's only one God only one God to be worshipped and that God is one in himself. That the Father is that God, that the Son is that God and that the Holy Spirit is that God. And this is a passage that talks about the Son and the Father. Where's the Father and where's the Son in that? So, I'm going to talk about the Incarnation now. I know your script. Yeah. Bro, bro, I'm not looking you at are a working, You are working no, to a script. That's why you're not... That, you are working to a script because what you're doing is you're, you're, you're asking one question and then before you hear the answer to your first question, you're running in with another question. Well, you said God, you were reading this, answering my question. So we're talking about, we are talking I about, said. we're talking about the Logos. What? We're talking about the word. The uh, word in the Greek word. here is Logos. logos. Go on. Go on. Yeah? Go on. Okay? So this is the bit of the passage that I need you to follow. Go on. Go on. Right? Re re because you need to know that the scriptures teach something that your scholars tell you it doesn't teach because your scholars are lying to you. And that's Abu, why Abu you repeat Bar this script. Muhammad, they're not lying. They're, they're all lying. No, no. They're all lying. 
no, no. Yeah, Go they're on. all lying. No, yeah. no, no. But listen they to are this. The companions. How can they yeah. lie when they're, 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 they're lying? Let, how but, are they lying? And they're the companions. Well, well let's come to this. I'm your best friend. How? Let's come to this. Let's come to this. Because they're lying about their enemies. They're not lying about Muhammad. So let's deal with this. Aisha lied about Muhammad. Aisha lied to Muhammad. saying Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Do you want to hear the answer to this question? Because you're doing other point. That's what I'm saying. No, no, no. What it is, bro? What it is, bro? Is you ask a question? Yeah. There's no Islamic supremacy here. No, I'm okay. Not, I'm not. I'm, so, I'm not saying that. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's the script, isn't it? It just no, forces you to, to to throw out the next line. I'm asking. Listen, you I've got to admit, you as a young Muslim man are better trained than most young Christians in 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 debate and discussion. So let's have a look at this. So in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So the Word is identified as God. The Word is identified as the one through all things came into being, through him, so it's defined as a person, and apart from him, nothing came into being that has come into being. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness comprehendeth it not. Now we're just looking at the word. That's what we're talking about. Come back to me, because, and, but I don't want you to get hung up on your question. I want you to listen to what I'm saying next, okay? It yeah. So the word is being identified as God, is being identified as the one through whom all things are made. Okay? He's being identified as the life and the light of the world. According to the Quran, who is the light of the world? Allah. Allah, there you go. Now. I have no idea. One one with a light on apparently. <laughs> it's gas works. Let's, let's pick up the camera and move away from the shouty shouty guy. We've not finished, bro. Right, so, so, we're following the word. We're identifying who the word is in the passage. Right? And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And we saw his glory, the glory of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. Yeah? Now this passage goes on. John testified about him, so we're still talking about the same person. Okay. And cried out, that's what we were just, I'm just about to, the reveal's coming, bro. But I'm just you're going to be terrible at the I'm cinema. Not... You're gonna, don't watch Tenet, you're, you're going to have a heart attack. This was he of whom said, he who comes after me has a higher rank than I, for he has a, he existed before me for of his fullness we have all received and grace upon grace for the law was given through Moses but grace and truth were realized through Jesus Christ so Jesus Christ is identified as the word and the word existed before John the Baptist and the word is God through whom all things were made yes so in answer to your question how can Jesus be the first and the last when he was born because what is born is his human nature that he takes unto himself. So he was God before, then he took the human nature. Exactly. So at that time there was only two gods, but one thing. No, 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 we believe in one God, not three gods. Where did you get two gods from? You know that's the script again. No, it's not. It is the script, that's why you said two gods. God is one and it's split into three. So when Jesus was one second. as a human form... One second, you said, you said two gods. Well, I got mixed up. That's because of the script. It's not a script. It is the script in your head. You can get mixed up when you speak. Because of the script. Oh, yeah, it, it, that's, that, that, that is the, that is the right. unconscious Firstly, knowledge working on you right there. No, 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 no. Right. So when Jesus was in human form, right? God is three, right? We believe in the Trinity. Right. So when Jesus is, is in human form, who said that he, has, like, he is human? He is not God anymore, yes yeah. or not? Yes. So wouldn't that mean that the one God is split into two now, not split into three? Right. So Christians have always believed in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's what we believe in. That is what we've always believed in. So to be clear, because I know the script is interfering in what I'm saying. Listen, 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 listen. What yep. script? It's the, it's the one that, yeah, yeah. so listen. So listen, we, we Christians believe in one God. We worship one God, and that God is one. But the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are this God. They don't become, they don't become that at some point in time. They aren't divided. It's not like a three parts of a pie. That's not what we believe. Take that out of your head. Yeah? Let me give you an example more akin to what we believe. Right now you're standing in three-dimensional space. Are you aware of that? 
three dimensions. Ex expand. Other okay. Dimensions. Did you have you studied physics? Yeah. I, I hate physics. I hate math. Fair enough. Yeah. That's all right. So right now you're standing in three-dimensional space. This is a fact. It's not controversial. That three-dimensional space is the horizontal, the vertical, and for want of a better word, the depth. Yeah? yeah. Now, you're three-dimensional, yeah? yeah? But you experience this as one thing. You understand this as one thing. It is one thing, but you can distinguish this one thing as three things. So that's more along the lines of what we Christians believe about God. In the Bible, wait, wait, I'm not sure of the exact verse, but it says God is three persons of some sort along that line, right? isn't it? Are you talking about 1 John 5, 7? I don't know which verse it is, but all I heard... Is this a script again? Yeah, Go on, tell me what you heard. Tell me what, saying, tell me what your script God, tells you. It, wait, does God say God is three persons, and then it says the Father and the Father? Right, right. So, so let's just be so clear. You're, you're... It can't be the same thing if they're three persons. Thank you, thank you. Right, that, that, that's brilliant. Yeah. That's exactly what we Christians, we believe. We don't believe that the Father is the Son, and we don't believe that the Son is the Holy Spirit, and we don't believe that the Holy Spirit is the Father. But they have the same essence. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Yeah? Do you know what the triple point of water is? No, I mean, I'm 17. Yeah, I that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so the triple point of water, this is a physical thing. You can go and do the experiment yourself if you like, right? If you take any chemical compound, any chemical substance, if you apply certain pressures and heats to it, it will reach what's called the triple point. The triple point is where the same substance demonstrates the properties of solid, gas and liquid at exactly the same time. You YouTube it, you can YouTube it, just try it, type into YouTube, triple point of water. You'll see it with your own eyes, it'll happen right in front of you. It'll, it'll become ice, you'll see steam, and you'll, you'll see bubbles in the ice, which is sodium gas, and you'll see liquid, right? So ice, we agree, is not the same as um, liquid, agreed? And, and liquid is not the same as solid, right? But H2O is the same, whether it's a solid, a gas, or a liquid, right? Okay, so that's more akin to what we believe. So you're right to say that the Father is not the Son and the Son is not the Father, but that doesn't mean that they can't be the same thing. Because if that's your logic, then you, when you look at ice, have to say that that isn't H2O because water is H2O. No, but it's not. Firstly, when the gas goes up into the air, it's not only H2O. No, it is only H2O. No, when it goes up when, into when, when steam goes into the air, air it is H2O. Right, it doesn't change. Around it, around, yeah, around it, but not in yeah. it. I know, it's not in it. But it's Wait, bro, I studied it. physics. Did you study physics? No, no, no. I'm telling you, you're wrong. All right, all Just take right, it on faith, you're wrong. But tell me, bro, how does it make sense that there's three persons and a one? But somehow God is one, but there's three, and then and then God also says in the Bible he's not the author of confusion. Correct. That is one of the most confusing stuff I've ever heard in my entire life. The only reason why it's confusing is because of the script. The, script. the, the one that the one that made you say two gods. Bro, it's yeah. Not let me let me let me let me answer you, let, 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 let me answer your question because I I'm bro bro I'm stood here it makes sense to me if if it if it no it does oh wait so now you're trying to tell me what I think wait bro are you but that's the script working on your mind again you're trying to tell me what I think I've just told you it makes sense to me and you're saying it doesn't you're saying it doesn't because the script is interfering in what you heard l l listen to what I said again it makes sense to me. Did you hear that? Yes. Do you believe that? Uh, yes. If you say, if you're truthful, I don't know. But I'm, I'm yes. truthful. Why would I lie? <laughs> to help your point. I've got no reason to lie about my own beliefs. Listen, no, I don't know. it makes sense to me. The reason why you struggle to believe that is because you have been brainwashed into thinking that it can't make sense. Yeah. And, and, and the reason why you've been brainwashed into thinking that it can't make sense is because and, and that is the reason why you can't see it making sense, because you've been told so many times that it doesn't make sense, you can't actually think about it in a logical way. That's your subconscious affecting your conscious mind. If I have three apples, are these three or one? I have three apples right now, are those three or one? So you've got three apples? Three apples? Yeah. So how are you saying it's one? Are they apples? They're three different persons. Correct. Right, the person yeah. So they're three different apples. I mean, that's a poor analogy. No, it is. No, no, no. It's, it's not the same as the analogy that I used. 
you said the triple in the water thing, right? The triple point of water. Yeah. But, yeah. but if you said there I, are I, bubbles and there's solid and there's Brother, liquid, are you saying, I'm saying are yeah. you saying that if liquid becomes a gas, its its substance is different? No, same thing. It's the same thing. Same thing. Right. Are you saying that if we if we divide if we if we analyze the horizontal space that it suddenly stops being the same space as the vertical space? No. Right. So you do get this concept. No. No, you just got it. Literally just then you got it. Because you said that water stuff, right? Tell me how wait, firstly, how can I you yourself said that if there's a and all that, all, all, all that stuff. That you can see ice and water and bubbles. Ice, water and bubbles are different. They're not the same thing. That's ice, water and thing. bubbles are all H2O in H2O, this case. You're Thank the you. Material, the material of it. Yes, it's, it's all H2O. H2O. Is that wrong? Yeah, no, it's not. It's not Thank right. you. So is it the same thing? Is ice the same thing as water? The compound is the same thing, yes. Is the ice the same thing as water? Um, it's like, yeah, but the, Thank you. The there you go, you got it again. There you go. That's twice now. That's twice you've managed to get it. The density isn't the same. No, brother. The, the, twice now you've managed to get it. In the Bible it says there's different persons. I don't know why you're saying this. You're absolutely right. It's, it's different persons. I don't Correct. Know like ice is not water and water is not gas. And the vertical is not the horizontal exactly. and the horizontal is not the depth. But the vertical and the horizontal and the depth are all space. Agreed? Yes. And the ice and the water and the liquid, uh, sorry, the gas and the water and the liquid are all H2O, agreed? Yes. Right, so you do get the concept. Do you know that what's happening there is you've now got what's called cognitive dissonance. Now you're a psychologist, you should enjoy this. This is called cognitive dissonance. This is called cognitive dissonance. What you've got now is you've got a division going on in your mind. You've got what you understand to be true rationally. H2O is the same whether it's a gas, a liquid or ice. Space is the same whether it's horizontal, vertical or horizontal. That's on one side of your mind. And the, and the cognitive dissonance, the cognitive dissonance is that you have this thing that you've been taught again and again and again, which is that the Trinity makes no sense. Three can't be one. So even though you accept that three can be one over here twice, you're saying three can't be one over here once. H2O is the exact same thing. Let's do another one. the material is the bro, if there's ice, it's ice. If did it's you, water, I can touch it. Did you, I've, I've given you, gas, you can't see it. I've given you two physical proofs. Let me give you a, 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 a mathematical no, well, proof. First, you have to answer my thing. Ice, water, and gas aren't, the, I mean, the like actual, the like actual element in there. It is. The Thank you. There you go. Bingo. But, there you go. Bro, did it. You just did it. I'm not allowed to Go on. But then different stuff. This one is hard, this one is water, and this one is gas. Exactly. How is the same thing? Thank you. So the Father is the same stuff as the Son, is the same stuff as the Holy Spirit, but the Father is not the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is not the Son, and the Son is not the Father. If you can get it when it comes to water, you should be able to get it conceptually. What you've got is cognitive dissonance. Now, let me give you another proof. Let me give you another proof, because I've given you two physical proofs. What's infinity plus infinity plus infinity? There you go. I'm asking you. What does it equal? There you go. Well, that doesn't make bro, you're not understanding. So this is a mathematical proof to no, the same thing. You say Jesus came back as a human form. Yes or no? This is a different this is a different point now. You're jumping back to the incarnation. It's part of the same thing. You know, no, you're jumping back to the incarnation. Come over here. There we go, back to the incarnation. It's not incarnation. Yes, it is. What do we Christians believe when God becomes a man? You said earlier you've not studied the incarnation. You said earlier you're going to study the Incarnation. You've just described something that I'm telling you is the Incarnation, and now you're trying to tell me, no, I'm not talking about the Incarnation. When God becomes a man, that is the Incarnation. The Son isn't infinite. No, it's not. Neither is the whole Jesus says he is. Jesus says he is. That's in the Bible. Correct. I'm gone. So, exactly. And it's you know in the, the Bible. Bible Do you know the Bible it's in, it's, we'll come yeah. to that. Separate exactly. discussion. You know Separate discussion. No, Separate. You know what you're doing, bro? It's the script. It's what script is being the script. You're jumping from you one argument to the next. You said yourself Look, that the Bible one second. Changed. This is Jesus speaking. He I says, Behold, I am coming quickly. My reward is with me to render to every man according to what he has done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. Who can come before the first? Nothing. Who can come after the last? Right. Who does Wait, that so describe? Right, so the last means it has an end. This is the last. Who comes after the last? No. Who comes Wait, after the last? Who comes after the last? No. When Careful what you're saying. Go on. Careful what you're saying. Are you saying that Allah has an end? I'm not saying that. Does Allah describe himself as the first and the last? In the Quran, I'm pretty sure he hasn't. He, he does. Says, no, he doesn't. Do you want me to show you? Go on. The first and the last in the Quran. 
You've got to stop listening to the script, bro. Nah, I'm not listening to the script. Bro. You've got to listen to the script. No, no, no. Let me yeah. show you where Alice says that he's the first and the last. Okay? Bear with us one second. In Surah 57.3. Why don't you trust a Muslim book? No, it's not a Muslim book. I don't know. This is not a Muslim book. What? I'm not saying it's not a Muslim book. I don't know. You might. Oh, oh, wait. That's the script speaking. Which one is it? That's the script speaking. What's the script speaking? Yeah, I, I, just, this. The script, the script. If, if I had one pound for every script you said in our conversation, I'll be rich. Because I, I, I just said this is a Muslim book and you're trying to say it isn't. That's the script. No, no, it is. That's the right, script. No, it is. 57, 57, 3. It does say that you are. He is the first and the last. So, does Allah call himself the first and the last? Yes, it does. Does Jesus call himself the first and the last? So, Jesus says that he is the first and the last. No one can come before the first. No one can come after the last. Jesus has just called himself God. Now, if he is God, what should you do about that? No, I don't believe in That's fine, but what should you do about it if he is? I'm not, I'm not going to say, obviously, if I'm Christian, then I think it's God, I worship him. But there no, we go. But no, I'm not. Yep. I'm not oh, no, one thing, if Jesus is God, why can't he just go in the Bible and say, I am God, worship me? Why? He, he literally does that. No, we didn't. You, no, I, I just showed you. Shall I show you again? So, but, but look, I'm on the exact thing. I'm Jesus. Jesus. I am God. Worship me. I am God. Work. Don't tell no. me that. Stuff. See, that's the script. That's not the script. That is the script. So where is I am God? Where is I am God? That is the script. Me. That is the script. Tell me why. Where is I am God? Worship me. I just want to know that. It's so easy. Yeah. Go okay. On. I want to see in the Quran where it uh, says. Go on. <laughs> yeah. Go again. I want to see where it says in the Quran. Um, pray five times a day. In those words. What? No, it's in the hadith. Oh, so it's, hadith. it's not in the Quran. Where does it say in the Quran, pray five times a day? In the hadith. No, I'm, I'm not interested in the hadith. I don't believe in your hadith. Where does it say in the Quran, pray five times a day? It doesn't say it. It never uses those words. It never ever in the Quran. It never ever. It never. No, no, no. Does it say follow a hadith? All right, I want to see in the Quran. Here's another challenge for you. I want to. Here's another challenge for you. Show me. You can't show me where it says in the Quran, pray five times a day. It might. It might be. It doesn't. It doesn't. How do you know? Because you know I, I, I know your religion better than you do. No, 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 no. Well, that's fine. Study it. Study it. Study it. Study it. Study it and come back to me. I do know your religion better than you. Yeah. What so, so JC, I'm wrapping up. I'm wrapping up. What source of better? In fact, bro, bro, I'm, I'm going to wrap up with this, right? Right. I mean, we, I'm going to go and grab a cup of tea, basically. You're more than welcome to come and join me. You're more than welcome to come and join me. Okay. But, but you've just established a standard that I reject. Show me in these words. And the reason why, one second. Bro, bro, rubbish. You're just talking rubbish. No, I'm not. Rubbish, rubbish. Because if Allah really wanted you to pray five times a day, he would have said, pray five times a day in the Quran, but he doesn't. If Allah said, if Allah said, if Allah said, if Allah wanted you to follow hadiths, he would have said, follow some books called hadiths, but he doesn't. If, show me the shahada in the Quran. Show me the shahada in the Quran. Show me where it says in the Quran, to be a Muslim, you have to say these words. Show me that. I want these words, not your words, I want these exact words. Allah says, to become a Muslim, you have to say, there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his prophet. I want to see those exact words. He says, follow the sunnah. Does he say that or not? So he doesn't say my exact words. Does he say... Do you get why I'm asking you these questions? I'm asking Does he say, follow the sunnah? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Right. What is the sunnah? The sunnah... Thank you. The sunnah is what Muslims invented hundreds of years later after Muhammad. Exactly. So, one second. Now let me explain why I'm asking these questions. Let me explain why I'm asking these questions. Because to move on. you have trying to you move have on. demanded to move on. because you have demanded that I show you something in exact words in the Bible. Yeah. But when I applied that same principle to your book, 
your book fails. No, no, no. Yes, it did. So let's do it again. Let's do it again. Where does it, where does it, where does it, where does it say, no, that's not my question. I'm not, I'm not disputing that. Am I disputing that? Am I disputing that the Quran, right, you're not listening now. You're not listening now. Okay, let's stop. Because you're agitated and you're angry and you're no longer listening. You're agitated and you're angry and you're no longer listening. No. Right? So you're trying to ask me questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 brother. You asked me so much brother. That I you. Now no, really, you that. didn't. What? Brother, yes, you did. you said brother water, you're not listening that. anymore. You're too agitated. Get a drink of water. Speaking, Get out of the speaking, sun. You're getting hot and bothered. Speaking, Let's where, stop for a where, second. Where are you going? I'm going to go to the cafe. You're where, more than welcome I'm to come with me. So, right, I'm going to the cafe. I want to give you a gift. Look, you're someone who said that you're going to weigh and study the incarnation. You said that. Right, and I'm giving you a gift. I'll probably throw it. Okay, so you're no student of knowledge. No, no, I'll, That's I'll fine. Search up online. I'm, I'm saying that. That's fine. Anyway, you have a good day, bro. You have a good day, bro. You have a good day. Your Allah does not say, he doesn't say to become a Muslim, you have to say the Shahada. He doesn't say, he doesn't say you have to pray five times a day. He doesn't say you have to give 2.5% in zakat. He doesn't say, he doesn't say, he doesn't say. So your five pillars are not in your Quran. When you can prove the five pillars in your Quran, I will listen to your standard. Anyway, have a good day. Take care. Let's see, let's go. Let's go. No, I've been here. How many hours I've been talking to him? How many hours? Where does it say follow hadith in the Quran? Show me, show me. Where? Where does it say it? Show me in the Quran. Show me the hadith in the Quran. Where does it say read hadith in the Quran? You're going to walk into people, JC. Where does it say follow hadith in the Quran? Where does it say follow the hadith in the Quran? I've been talking to you for at least two hours. Trust me, I'm not running away. Not running away, bro. Not running away. I'm literally walking away. Not running away. I'm not running away. So, so where in the hadith does it say Say these words to become a Muslim and then give them a the shahada. Say, exactly. No, no, exactly. Saying, That's my point, bro. No, 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 no. That's my point, bro. I've got to admit, he's a determined young fella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. How, how yeah, many hours? I'm getting a drink. I've said he could no, come with me. No, no, I've said he could come with me. That's not running away, is it? So. Not, and he is, no, and he no, is no, coming no, with me. No, look. So I'm no one's running away from you, bro. Say, follow the sun Don't have an ego trip. No, no one is running away bro, from you. I'm calm. I'm yep. asking a question. Please I'm not so sure you're calm. Bro, can you answer so I'm not so sure you're calm. I want a yes or no so answer. listen to me, bro. No, no, no I'm listen to me, bro. Me so much stuff. Listen to me, bro. No, but you didn't, though. Listen. Let me explain to you. You're agitated. Take a break. Have a Kit Kat. Grab a coffee. Get a bottle of water. Calm down for a second, and then we can have a conversation. Do you want to have a conversation? Right now, is this a conversation? Yes, sir. Is it a conversation or are we just talking past one another? No, I'm not. You're speaking now. Are we talking past one another? Bro, I'm asking you a question. Right, listen. Does Allah says follow the sunnah. Okay, let me answer that question. Thank you. Let me answer that question. Yes, no, I'm, I'm definitely going for a coffee. Let me, let, let me answer this question. The, let me answer the question. No, I'm, I'm going for a coffee. You're more than welcome to join me. You're more than welcome to join me. No one is running away from you. I'm going to answer this question. I'm going to that. Wait a minute. I've just said I'm going to answer the question and he doesn't want me to answer the question. Can I get a cup of tea and a bottle of water? Cup of tea, yeah? Yeah, right. Come and join us. We're, we're friendly people. Come and, come and join us. We're friendly people. Yeah. No, it's his. So, JC. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I'm just asking. Yeah, brother, so, so if you ask a question, you've got to listen to the answer. Are you going to listen to the answer? So the reason why, the reason, and I will answer your question, the reason why I asked you the questions that I did is to demonstrate that you had established, you see, you're not even listening, so maybe you should just go. No, if you don't want to listen to the answer, you can go. I'm listening, but you're not Okay, so listen, listen. You, you, what you're saying is I'm, I'm, I'm sulking because you're not giving me the answer I want. There you go. Okay, so don't sulk. Listen to what I'm saying and then reply. Yeah? Going to make a man of you yet. So the thing is, in terms of the, the reason why I was asking you those questions was to demonstrate that when you were saying, I want to see in these words, Jesus says, I am God, worship me, that the standard that you are asking me to jump to 
is not a standard that you can jump to. Right. Now you asked me, you, I haven't finished. To other point. No, yeah. no, 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 one second, one second. Yeah. Then you ask, so you asked me, does it say follow the sunnah? Yes, it does. Thank you very but, much. But, but, it doesn't say follow hadiths. What's the sunnah? Tell me what is the sunnah? The sunnah is a beaten path, a trodden path. That's what the sunnah is. What's the sunnah? Stop, I've just told you, that's literally what the word means. Do you not know what the word means? What's the sunnah? It's following the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But what does that have to do with reading hadiths? What does that have to do with reading because hadiths? Because hadith is basically how the, no. the, the Prophet Muhammad no. sallallahu no. alayhi no. wa sallam. No, no, no. Yeah, yes, it could be an oral tradition, it doesn't have to be written down. Bro, it says, li sunnati lahi lahi tabdila. So, so why does that mean, why does that mean write down hadiths? What is the sunnah? The sunnah is, is following Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What is the only way that you? Why can does that Prophet mean, Muhammad right? Muhammad well, you could you could follow it through a teaching authority like bishops. Bi so bishops now. No, I'm just pointing out to you that following the sunnah of Muhammad doesn't imply that you have to write hadiths. There are other ways that this could have been done. Well, is hadith the sunnah or not? Do the yes, Shia have clerics? I don't. I don't know. About wait, 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 exactly. This is what I mean. Not, they're, they're yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I, so, I so the point is, the point is, they go against it. I mean, the Shia, actually, the Shia yeah. have a clerical class. Go on that they understand as following the Sunnah of Muhammad. It doesn't matter. What I'm pointing out to you is, now let me explain why it matters, because that shows that the way that that is understood, following the Sunnah of Muhammad, doesn't necessarily mean doing it the Sunni way. Some Muslims think there's another way to do it. Doesn't the Quran say something? So, what does the Quran now need to do? It needs to be clear. It needs to say, it needs to say, Read these hadiths. Allah so says, show me that. Right. Allah says why, why, he is the only God. Does he say that or not? Yeah. Uh, yes no one's not? disputing that. Right. Am so I disputing that? God, That's a I red herring, I'm bro. God, I'm going to say I'm God. Worship me. That's the script just talking. Like Allah. That's the script That's talking. What script are you speaking about? That's the script talking. Because I, you've just raised a point that bro, I did not raise. I'm God, right? I'm going to say I am God. Worship me. That's the script talking. I, God. I did not say, I did not dispute that the Quran says worship Allah. Thank you very much. Right. Does the so, Bible say Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And I'll show you. I'll show no, you. I want to clear. I am God worship. Oh, there we go. So now we're back to this false standard that I you can't God. live up to. I am God. You don't want, bro. If that, I'm God, that's the I'm script say I'm God. talking. What's wrong? That's the script bro, talking. If you're God, are you? Will you say I'm okay, God? Okay. Listen to this. Listen to God. this. Okay. God forgive me. Worship me as God. Why would you do? That? Why would you not do that? You're not God. There you go. Right. What's up? So now let me show you something. saying Jesus is not God because he hasn't said it. You all heard. You all heard what he said. You all heard what he said. He said he won't do it because I'm not God. So now we go back to John 5.22. Yeah. Now, remember, when I said, worship me as God, you yeah. said no, because I'm not God. Yeah. So in other words, you understand that if I said to you, worship me as God, that I'm saying that I'm God. That's, yeah. So Jesus says, for not even the Father judges anyone, but has given all judgment unto the Son, so that all will honour the Father, honour the Son, even as they honour the Father. Say again, for not even the Father, but He has given. Yes. Therefore, He Listen. has authority over Jesus. Listen. Yeah, yeah, that's the script Say talking. Say again. That's all, my, bro. You having for Listen. even the Father judges anybody. But is that the point that I'm building my case on? Is that the point I'm building my case on? He has given. The Father. You've got to turn this script off, bro. Bro, I'm not. It's, there, there's no script. It's your Bible. Are you listening? Are you listening? I haven't even seen that. Are you listening? Life, you, no, that you see, you just lied then. What? Because you were over there Obviously, with me 20 with minutes, so you stop lying. So. Let, listen, you know what it is, it's you're too excited. Not Calm down. Saying, listen, are you listening? I'm listening, bro. Right, I'm are you I'm, sure? Yes, I think, I mean... <laughs> you're too excited, bro. Let us buy your coffee, let us buy your coffee, yeah? Right, it says, He has given all judgment to the Son, so that all will honour the Son, even as they honour the Father. So, will you honour Jesus as you honour Allah? I don't believe in, in the Bible, so no. That's not the point. You said, show me in the Bible. So, whether the Bible's reliable or not is not the question. The question is, does the Bible say, worship Jesus as God? What does it say over there? He has so, given listen. all judgment. No, you, no, 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 that's not the verse I'm building bro, my case on. Answer, bro, I'm asking you. He no, says over here, you asked me. Wait, you, know, you know, know the problem so with your not script. not even the Father judges to the Son, so Brother. that he has Brother, given the script, all judgment. The script that you're, the script. The script that you're working to. Bro, I don't know what script you're saying. Yeah, yeah, listen what to what I'm saying. Bro, it's your Bible. Listen to what I'm saying. Has okay, given. Brother, right, I am being very patient with you, but if you don't stop, go I'm going to ask you to go away because I just want to have go a coffee. Go on, go on. Go on. I'm just you're going to have to yes. either behave yourself. Yeah, all right, go on. Because we're not in the corner now. I'm at a cafe, which right, means I'm just a private citizen. Go on. Go on. Yeah? Yes, go on. So listen to what I'm saying. All right, go on, go on. Not what the script is telling you. Minute, Are you listening? Bro, come on. My case is not built on the words, 
the father judge, he has given all judgment to the son. That's not where I'm building my case. So why not that? You think Are you listening? Bro, you asked me, all right, go away. Have bro, a good day. I'm asking, you're, you're not answering Brother, again. you're just not listening. You're not answering again. I'm going to have a cup of tea. Right, you're more than welcome to join really us. Now, have a good day. Take anyways, care. Take saying, care. Have a good day, bro. father say he has? Have, have he a good has day. Given. Tell me. Have a good day, bro. bro you have to stop listening to this script. Bro, it's your Bible. You have to stop listening to this script. He has given judgment to Jesus. Have a good day. Because he has more power. Hello, Bob. Same question. How are you? I know.